With a population of about 400,000 people, Maldives is a large group of islands found in the southern tip of India. Located in the Indian Ocean, Maldives is covered by white beaches, palm trees and a natural landscape. As the smallest country in southern Asia, it spreads across an area of 298 square kilometer with 1,200 individual coral islands. The 2,500 old nation covers a length of 870 km from north to south and a width of 130 km from east to west. With beaches and scattered nature forming the top attractions, tourism is the main economy of the island. But these islands have one very large problem. They are sinking into the sea at a faster rate because of climate change. This is due to the global temperature rise that leads to melting glaciers and sea level rise. 40% of the global population are now living within 100 kilometers of the sea. The Maldives, other islands and major coastal cities like Shanghai and Mumbai are affected by rising sea levels. The Maldives have more than 1000 islands that are less than one meter above sea level. The Maldives is affected by other climate change effects like heavy storms, eroding coastlines, less freshwater supply, and decline of habitats. Due to the island's low-lying nature, the 2004 tsunami destroyed about six islands and caused several damages. So how fast are these islands sinking? The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has projected that the seas will move up by 1.1 meters by the year 2100. This means around 1000 islands in the Maldives will completely disappear into the sea by 2100. And the government is making efforts to build innovative city. To tackle global warming and thrive in sea level rise, Maldives is planning to survive by building innovative city known as Maldives Floating City. Once completed, the city will invite both residents and visitors. The floating city is developed by a Netherlands-based firm known as Dutch Docklands, which specializes in floating developments. They coordinated with the government of Maldives and are planning to build a sustainable floating city. Normally, land reclamation is a method popularly used to create new land from the sea. China is a great example of a country with large amount of artificial land reclaimed from its coastlines. But land reclamation has been concerned with climate change effects such as rising in flooding, storm surges and destruction of coral and marine lives. Therefore, to promote sustainability, Maldives found creative ways to live in the water without land reclamation. So this floating city development will have only limited impact for species living in the water. This sustainable living is planned in warm water lagoon in the Indian Ocean. It is situated at a 10 minute boat ride from the capital city of Malay and Malay International Airport. The development has been going on for about a decade, with the project being in development since 2009. The city will consist of thousands of waterfront residences that floats along a flexible functional urban grid across a 200 hectare lagoon. The city will evolve with the growing needs of the country, residents and visitors. Since this floating city is one of the first of its kind, it will set an example for surviving the sea level rise in the future. The construction will start in 2022 and is set to be completed in phases in the next half decade. The floating city's design plan was inspired by the traditional Maldivian architecture that coordinates with the most eco-friendly construction achievable. The coral is a critical part of the master plan and since they draw tourists to the nation, the design of the floating city was inspired based on its features. The city is formed of hexagon shaped segments modeled on a unique geometry of corals and linked to a ring of lush barrier islands. When the entire city floats up, the island barriers that surround the lagoon will act as breakers down below. The skillful composition reduces the effect of lagoon waves and at the same time balances the structures on the surface. 
school, healthcare facility and government buildings are also planned to integrate with the residential and commercial buildings. By using a smart grid, renewable energy is set to power the developments. The city promotes a mixed use lifestyle with easy access to all its basic facilities. This is supported by a system of bridges, canals and docks which provides a well-connected environment for the people. Situated closer to the existing Malay International Airport, the city can connect to other global destinations around the world. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.